Ailetha here with Create Your Future and thank you for joining me on this video today. Create Your Future is giving away a free course, How to Find Your Blocks to Manifest Anything Fast. The link is in the description box below and I have courses available and I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching and my coaching right now is 50% off. So check all of that out. The links are in the description box below. Last week I did a video on broadcasting and I had a viewer ask, Give me step by step on how I broadcast the things that I do want out into the universe and then have them reflect it back to me. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Broadcasting and how to do that so that it reflects back to you exactly what your heart's desiring to manifest. All right, number one, you need to set an intention. What is it, what is it that you want? If it's an SP, what are the details of that? Is it someone you just want to start dating? What are the details? Sit down, write out what is your intention specifically. If it's your health, what are the details? You want to be healed of a certain disease or do you just want more energy? Whatever it is, detail that in your intention. What is money maybe? Detail how much you want to earn or make or just be given to you. You want just to show up in your world. Whatever is all okay. It's just a matter of knowing exactly what you want to manifest. So you need to set an intention, a clear intention with the details. Don't say that I want to be a money magnet. Well, okay, fine. Then you're going to, Amanda tells the story of that one day she found a penny on her arm, stuck to her arm. Well, that's a money magnet. Yeah, it's stuck to her. But it wasn't money in her bank account, was it? It was only a penny. So you want to be specific on how much money you do want. Okay, or at least say a huge amount or a lavish amount or or greater increase in my um, income, whatever it is, be specific. All right. And then once you have a really strong intention of what you do want, then you need to create a vision, a vision that is going to enable you to feel the feelings you need to feel that are in alignment with what you want because intention alone does very little. It's all about marrying the two together, your intention and your emotions, your feeling. That's what will bring whatever it is your heart's desiring into your reality. A, a solid intention that is supported with your feeling, feeling the feelings of having it now, an intention for perfect health, how does that feel? An intention for being full of energy, how does that feel? An intention of being with your SP, how does that feel? An intention of having the money you need, how does it feel? You have to marry the two together. It's an intention with a feeling. So the vision enables us to produce the emotion. So now you're gonna create an imaginal scene in your mind that's five to seven seconds long that is detailed in all the senses like touch, taste, feel, scent, uh, seeing, all of that, hearing, all of that. And it's just gonna be short. Um, and an, an easy way to do that is to be talking to a friend, congratulating you that, that you were healed of whatever the disease was, or, or that somebody congratulating you that, that you and your SP are together, or the money that somebody's congratulating you on the raise that you got, or, or however the money showed up. Now, the other thing you, under, you need to understand, when you're creating your imaginal scene, it's not how I got there. You do it from the end of already having it, and you do it in first person it's me I'm not sitting back in a theater watching it on a movie screen and other characters are up there doing my thing it might be me but I'm not physically mentally in that present moment I'm watching it from a distance it's not that at all it's first person I'm the one doing it I'm first person in the scene and that's what you need to do. Okay, so then it has to come from the end of already having it. So someone's congratulating you on your perfect health or on your or your or on the money that you just received or, or on uh, the SP that you're with now. So you, and then you confirm back that yes, yes, I'm so happy and so grateful. Okay, so now that's your vision. So five, seven seconds long, you feel it, you, you feel the feelings, you know, all of that, for the five senses. Okay, all right. So now, another key element is being in the present moment. You don't create from the past and you do not create from the future. 
We need to stay in the present moment and we need to involve our heart. Our heart is so many times more powerful than our cognitive mind so that it is the place where miracles come from. All right, so now how do I do that? Well, I focus my attention on my heart. I want to move in to the present moment. And I do that by focusing literally, mentally, imaginally, seeing my heart, breathing in and out, feeling it, being focused. You can lay your hand on your chest and in your heart center so that where you touch is a sensation and that immediately takes you to that um, focus there. Okay, so so then you then you'll see yourself living from there and then you're grateful. I am so happy and grateful that I am with my specific person. I am so and you're feeling that love coming from your heart. It's not methodical. It is your heart emotion. The power, the energy of the heart is so incredible. And then when it marries with the cognitive mind, balances, comes into homeostasis where you're no longer focusing on the body, you're no longer focusing on the needs and the wants. You are totally absorbed in the moment and in the feeling of having whatever it is your heart's design. You're grateful for it. Gratitude says to the universe, this is mine, I have it already. And so it gives you more of what you already have because the universe does not give us what we want. It gives us who we are, what we are. And so in your heart is the place to focus your attention and to live in that moment, being grateful for the thing that you want. In the present moment, awareness is the strongest power for you to create from. And you wanna be a creator, not a survivor. The past is trying to survive. The future is hoping I survive. Present moment is I am it now. I have this now and I am grateful for it. Also, then you're gonna rehearse this. So you're gonna do this over and over. You're gonna see your imaginal scene and you're gonna do it from your heart. You're gonna feel it coming from your heart. You're gonna feel that energy and what, how beautiful it feels from the end of already having it. So I'm so happy and excited that I'm finally with my SB, that he's holding me and loving me. All of those good feelings that come with that and the safety and the security or whatever it is your heart is designed and you're feeling that coming from your heart center and you're grateful for it. And so you rehearse that over and over. And the first time in the morning when you first wake up is one of the best times to do it because you're still in that state of alpha before you've moved into beta, which is our thinking mind. But we wanna stay in the alpha and theta state where alpha is moving into that drowsy state where, and that's where we start to create from. And then theta is one of the best places where you're, you're sort of asleep, but you're not asleep and you're almost there. And so anyway, you're gonna, Go into those wonderful states of feeling the feelings as though you already have it now. So in the morning is a good time to do that. Before you get up, start your day. Isn't it wonderful to start your day feeling like you are the person you're choosing to be? Because in order to change your current circumstances, you have to stop being you. You can't create out of the old you. You can't create out of the lack. You can't create of not having. You can't create out of that old personality, that old story. You must create out of the new story. So in the morning, you you live through that new story in your mind, with your imagination, with your intentions, um, with affirmations, all of which is the same thing, intention and affirmation. And you are living it and feeling it. And before you ever get out of bed and face the world and go into your beta thinking mind. And when you get up, you get up the new person. You get up the person who already has the specific person. You get up the person who knows they have the perfect health now. You get up the person knowing that you are wealthy and abundant now. Everything is in the now, the current, present moment. That is your gold mine. That's where the miracles happen and coming from the heart, feeling that. And then you persist in that throughout the day. Well, how do I persist in? How do I broadcast all of that out into the universe? First of all, when you're imagining it and when you're following through with your intentions, you are broadcasting the good things that your heart's design out into the universe and they have to be reflected back. But it takes rehearsal. I mean, are you broadcasting that more than the old story? Because if you're not broadcasting it more than the old story, you Guess which one's going to show up? The old story. You have to broadcast the new story, the new you, the new personality 
more than you are the old. So that means you have to think about it more. You have to be more repetitious with it. You have to rehearse it over and over and over, and you have to persist in it and not give in to spiraling. And when you want to spiral, when you feel you're gonna spiral, when something is, has happened in your 3D that's just crushed you, what do you do? You go to your heart center in the present moment, become presently aware of the present moment, letting go of everything in the past and not thinking about anything that could happen in the future and you live right here and what are you going to think about in the present moment who you choosing to be your the new story that's who you're choosing to be and you're going to live from there and you're going to keep staying in that and persisting in that and feeling that through your imaginal scene and and intentions and you're feeling it and you're feeling it and you're feeling it and you're feeling it until the spiraling stops because you know that as you do that, you have just broadcasted out into the universe everything that your heart desires to be reflected back to you. And then you can just let go of the old 3D and say, ha, huh, I don't care about you anymore because I know I have the power to change everything in my life by what I'm broadcasting from me now through my heart and through my imagination and my feelings out into the universe. And it has to, it's the law, reflect it back to you. So you have to persist in that because again, it has to be more and greater than the old story. The new story has to be greater than the old story. It has to be what you think about more than you do the old story. So you think about the new story more than the old. So that means practice, right? But why not? Why not go into feeling wonderful and like you have whatever it is? And then when you are working through your day and doing your, your routine of life, make sure that you are staying in the new personality. The new personality is the person who is with their SP. That's your new personality. The new personality is the person who no longer has that disease. That's your new personality. And when you live from that new personality, the disease has to go away because it belonged to the old personality. When you live in the new personality, the third party has to go away because in the new personality, it's just you and your SP. Same thing with the money. You live in the new personality and the, the lack has to go away because in the new personality, you're abundant. You have everything your heart desires financially, abundantly. I am now in the present moment Everything my heart desires. Not someday I'm waiting for it. I'm saying all my affirmations and doing this imaginal scene so I can get what I want. No, I'm doing all of that. I'm just, I'm feeling it because it's mine now. I'm rehearsing it over and over and over. Why? Because it feels so good. Because it, I know that the universe hears what I'm saying, thinking, and feeling. And it will reflect that back to me. You are the power of your reality through your thoughts and your feelings and how you project that out of you. What you think and feel internally is what's going to be projected out and then reflected back. And I'm serious about the personality thing. Make new choices. Don't choose the same stuff you do every single day. The old person would get up and maybe feel crummy <laughs> or get up and feel tired or, or get up and get on the phone and text somebody or on your email or, or whatever, social media, in person, Talk to somebody, can you believe it, in person, talking to someone and telling them all your troubles. That's the old personality. You do not want to live from the old personality. You have to live from the new personality who doesn't talk about their troubles, who doesn't share all the things going wrong in their lives, who talks about something greater than the old story. I am new now. I am healthy. I am well. I am happy and delighted. If you don't want to say that you're, you're, you're manifesting another person into your life, that's okay. You don't have to, but live from a state of feeling loved and valued and wanted and needed. Have those emotions and walk around sharing with the world that you the energy of being loved and needed and wanted and desired the way you feel when you're with that person, safe and secure. You can feel the emotions now before the event shows up and that's how it gets manifested. When you show up in your reality, in the current moment, in the present moment, already feeling that you have whatever it is your heart's desire. That's your power.
you can do that. So we're going to set an intention. We're going to create a vision to live from. You're going to be defined by that vision. This is your new story. You're not going to do the things you used to do because you're not that old person anymore. You are this person and you're going to live from this person. So you're defined by the vision. Think about that. You are defined by the vision. Okay. Then you have this present moment with your heart awareness that you are going to live from and feel that present, feel that beauty of having whatever it is your heart's desiring. And you're going to rehearse it. You're going to do it in the morning. And I didn't finish. You do it in the morning, but you're also going to do it in the evening before you go to bed. Because again, it's back into where you're drifting into sleep, into alpha state, and then, then into theta. And, and that is when you are going to experience the greatest opening to the universe. It's kind of like a portal. That's where our, our logical mind shuts down and our subconscious mind is open and receptive to whatever it is we have to tell it. And we're gonna tell it the new story. This is your power. You have the right to do this. It's your birthright to have, be, and do anything your heart desires. And this is how you do it. You set an intention, you create a, a vision that's from the end of already having it. You're defined by that vision. Then you live in the present moment awareness with your heart. Make sure that you are feeling it from your heart. And then you rehearse all of this several times a day and it's your inner conversation that I am. My SP is crazy in love with me. I always have perfect health. I don't know how many times I've been ill with something and I just walked around saying I have perfect health. And guess what? The one time was four days later, totally gone. Totally gone. So all you need to do is live in the moment as the person who already has the thing that your heart desires. I want perfect health. I am perfect health, and I say it over and over and over. And after we rehearse it, we have to persist in it. We've got to stay with it. So let me give you that rundown again one last time, because I think I haven't finished it yet. Intention. You set an intention. Then you live from the end of already having. That's your vision. You're defined by the vision. Then your present moment awareness, focusing from your heart and the feeling of already having whatever it is your heart's design. Rehearse it, repetition, morning, evening, and all through the day with your inner conversations. I am this, I am. Persistent and persistent. I am perfect health, I am. I am with my SP. My SP is crazy about me. I am wealthy and full of abundance. That's your power. Claim it. And you know, when you try to move, when you intend, not try, got that, and try is nothing, but when you intend to go out of the old story, story and move into the new story, you're walking into what? The unknown. And guess what? Our bodies, our minds are conditioned to the old story. They don't want to move forward because it's not predictable. But we know that in only way to manifest the thing that our heart desires is to step out into the unknown, create that mental or imaginal vision and live there in the unknown. You don't have to figure out how you get what you get, what you want, how it gets manifested. All you have to do is know it is and you live from those feelings in the unknown and then trusting the universe to do what the law says it'll do. You push it out, you broadcast out those feelings, those thoughts of having, and the law says it must reflect back to you that same thing that you just broadcast it out into the universe. It's gonna reflect it back so that you have to live in the new story, trusting the law and living joyfully as the new person. You have a new personality now. And that's where we create from. The moment, the moment, and our imaginal scene. So, intention, vision, present moment, your heart, feeling the feeling, rehearsing it, persisting in it, knowing that I am this, I am. And that I can have, be, and do anything my heart desires. I'm that powerful.
Blessings. If you have any comments, please leave them. I love comments. I will respond. And if you have a question or need more information, I'm more than happy to help you with that. But I'm also willing to, to coach too. If you really, really want to dive deep into your world and get, you know, find your blocks, find your resistance, find what assumptions are not, are not in your best interest. I can help you with that too. So blessings.